Good morning, church family. This is Eric Service, and this is a tutorial on how to create a blog post on the website. Uh, this is mainly for like the administrative team and the leadership team to be able to create blog posts, but uh, you guys can watch as well. Anyone can really watch. This is basically going to be a, a tutorial on how to create a blog post using the Elementor editor in WordPress. So without further ado, let's get into it. So on thnas.org, um, the first thing you'll need to do is register an account if you don't already have one. Once you register an account, then you'll have to send uh, me an, uh, a message letting me know that you want to be an editor of the blog posts. Um, obviously this is only for a select number of people like the, uh, the pastors and stuff like that. Um, but you can also register and log in just to be a comment and, and a subscriber and comment on things. But uh, let's say you have your own website, you know, you're going to need to be either the web, website administrator or you can be a user that is registered and is has the role of an editor so I have an account that's an editor so let's go ahead and click login and this is what you're gonna do at the beginning is click login um, and then my account here is there so you'll fill out your account so that's the first thing that we're gonna do here is fill out this account and if I remember right it's Okay, and that means that you successfully logged in. If it displays this, um, if it displays a, like an error or something, that means you didn't sign in correctly, wrong password, wrong username, something like that. So now that you're logged in, um, you can click up. So the next step you'll need to do to create a blog post is to go up to new, and then you can select post. All right, now that we've now we're on the back end of the website and we've created a we've created a template for a post. So now you can just type in the title of the blog. So test blog is what we're going to title it. Um, and then there's a few configurations you'll have to do over here. So first thing you'll want to have want to do is select a category. Um, you can add new categories. Uh, if there's a category that's not here that you want, you can add a new category by coming down here and typing in, you know, I don't know, uh, let's say we have, we actually, if, let's say we uh, get a sports director to actually run, like maybe the Cornhole League or something like that. Uh, we could actually make a new category called sports church sports or something like that and you can add the category uh, we're not going to do that though since yeah um, so that's just the first thing you're going to do is select a category and uh, you don't necessarily have to select a category but it looks kind of nice and neat for things to be more organized so I'm just going to select news for right now since this is just a test. Um, but if you were to create a new category, you would need to put type in sport. And if you wanted it to be a, uh, one of these cat, what if you wanted it to be a subcategory, you could put it underneath ministries or news or technology. So that would be kind of neat if like you wanted to create a whole bunch of parent uh, yeah let's let's say like you wanted to create it under ministries 
um, or you if you want it to just be its own little category you can just and then to create the category you'll just hit create add new category and it adds it to the list of categories um, you can put blog posts in more than different more than one category uh, but I would recommend just one category tags this is to make the blog post searchable so I'm just gonna put test so you just write test and then you would press enter and then that would make it once you see that X on there it makes it attack so you can put test blog and such and such so like whatever the the blogs gonna be about just put a whole bunch of tags in there just fill it up like even if it's kind of related but not all the way you know just put as many tags as you can because that way it makes it a lot more searchable all right the next thing that we'll want is this featured image and this is something that you'll really want to have because if you go to thnas.org right now and let's say you're at the blog see how the image is displayed here if you forget to put a featured image in in then these images won't show up so to get a to get a featured image click on select set featured image and I actually already have an image ready to go in the media library and you can search through pictures that are already on the website and you can use them however you want oh that's kind of interesting but yeah I already have a test image and then you can upload an image so when you click on upload you can select an image from your computer and then that's something that you can do too is if you don't have an image in mind just always just go to Google and go to google.com and then just whatever you want to search like let's say that there's a Bible verse that you want to put on Bible verse Bible verses and search and find a Bible verse that's in an image for you that you can easily put for the blog post and that's what I did for the uh, the recent blog by the pa by pastor Denny uh, is I just Google searched a Conor virus image actually there it is and there it is right there that's the image I used I just downloaded that and to download an image you just right click on it and click save as and then you just hit save and that downloads it to your computer and then once you're at the website you can select image and it uploads depending on the image size it might take a little longer or shorter um, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one since we already have that image so to delete an image you just select it and click delete permanently be careful about doing that though because a lot of these images are being used on the website so if you delete it then it's going to delete it from the website so be careful when you're in this area so we'll select our the test image and select that and now that's our featured image um, and then that's pretty much all that you need to do there's other things that you can do I guess but that's all you need to do for the setup. The next thing you're gonna need to do is click on Edit with Elementor. 
and that will load the Elementor editor. And this is where the magic begins. So now you're at the, you're basically at like what it would look like after it's published. So here's our featured image, and here we have um, elements that we can add and different sections that we can add. And now it's time to actually make the blog. So to make the blog, all you have to do is select add section. And this is kind of neat. It, this is basically like a table setup, so like a dividers. So you can have it to where there's no, divi no dividers. You can have it where there's one divider, three dividers, four, etc., etc., etc. And then what this does is it makes it so you can have Let's say if we select this this divider, you can have. Let's say let's. Um, so now that you have these this table here, now you can go over to the elements. So to get to the different elements that you can place, click on this here, and now you can drag in some text, um, and then you can highlight now sometimes you get confused and you try to edit it in here but you actually need to edit it over here this is where you edit and then let's say that there's some text that you want to copy um, you can go to the Facebook site or, or the Facebook and let's say we wanted to paste this in there um, so you can just highlight it say copy and then go over here and paste that text in so if, for example you already like wrote the blog in like a word document uh, you can just go ahead and copy everything from that creation that you already made and just paste it in here okay so what what do we do over here so you can do a number of things so you to get so to get over there go ahead and just click over there and now you have uh, these that you can select so let's put an image over there so to put to put elements into the our tables all you have to do is just click drag click on it and drag it over that puts a image element there already and then to add an image all you have to do is go choose image and we can just we can select whatever image we want from our library that's already on our website or like I said we can upload another image so let's let's actually look for a Bible verse online Bible verses and so let's just look and see I can do all things through Christ who strength strength strengthens me Philippians 413 that's that's an awesome one so let's just right click save as uh, save it to your computer go back to the Elementor click select file select the image that we um, that we downloaded wherever you downloaded that there it is click upload that will upload the image and then select insert media and there we go we got our little image let's say you wanted it to be a little bit bigger and you wanted the text to be a little smaller or whatnot you can go into the center of the table and drag it this way or that way or whatever way you want to make it bigger or smaller and whatnot. 
and then let's say this is just the first paragraph and you wanted to have like text over here and then an image over here now we can add the next paragraph and let's say you didn't want an image on this next paragraph so you just put one big long um, connection there and then once you add that you can either click here to open up the uh, different widgets that you can use or you can click here and it will do the same thing um, let's say we wanted to do like a title uh, a, a, like a title of our blog so that would probably be something and let's say you're like whoops I wanted to have the title up here or um, so let's drag a title in here and say test blog and then let's say you're like oh whoops I don't want my title to be in the center of my blog it's real easy all you have to do is go right here drag up and place it above so it's really intuitive you can just move these around anywhere you want and so it's really nice uh, and then of course um, over here we have different settings that you can make let's say you wanted it to be a bit bigger you can do that you want to be smaller you can make it a little bit smaller uh, this is base. this is the different sizes that you can make headers uh, let's say you wanted it to be you know you can also change the size here too so let's go back to default though uh, let's say you wanted a URL to be placed on this header. All you'd have to do is uh, copy the URL. So let's say, for example, oh cool, I have this video here. I want to have this video be a link to that header. Why not? So you just go back to this link section, paste it in, and then when you click on this title, it will take you to that YouTube video now. It's kind of a neat setting. You can do that with anything. You can do that with an image. Uh, let's see, yep, yep, link right here. You can do a custom link and you, know, you can have it go to that video. Uh, you can do it with text, I think maybe not with text yeah you can't you can add links to a text file too let's say after you wrote a big paragraph you had some kind of video or a link that you wanted to share uh, let's say you go back copy the link go in here and click on this little chain icon and that creates a link paste the URL in and you can even edit it where you would have link text and you could say new website teaser or something like that and then you'd probably want it to say open in a new tab so that way people aren't I mean they're directed away from the website but they're direct away from the website in a new tab instead of completely closing the website and opening the tab opening the link you'll still they'll still have the website technically open so you'll definitely want to check that open link in a new tab if you ever want to add a link let's say though and let's say we wanted to add another section of text but with no image on the side um, you would just uh, do that and then you would drag over a text editor and then let's just leave that text because I mean we don't really have anything to say we're just doing a test page okay so yeah let's say we wrote a whole bunch there actually let's go ahead and um, let's just find some kind of
I'm just trying to find a, a whole bunch of text that I can copy. So let's just copy a whole bunch of text here. So that way we have a whole bunch of text that we can work with. Oh yeah. So whenever you're putting content in, you need to put it in over here. Okay, so let, and you can also, you should still be able to edit over here too a little bit. Uh, but I recommend if you need to edit, edit, do it over here. And we're going to indent these um, paragraphs here so it looks more professional and neat. And that's how you do that. You just scroll down to them. And I mean, when you're just writing a blog post, though, you're not going to be necessarily copying and pasting, though, anyways. So now we have like the little like kind of um, center of our blog so that's kind of cool um, and so what what can you what also can you do so let's say you wanted like a little button um, that created a link so let's say you wanted something like a contact button or something like that contact us button you could You'll create a new section and then you'll click on the widgets here and you'll drag this button widget and here's the little button uh, you can customize it and you can make it say whatever you want Here's the link that it would go to. So let's just say we're going to go to this link again. So you would paste that link there. Uh, and then you would, you can make it a little bit bigger. Um, you can make it real big. You can make it medium, small. You just customize it. And, you know, you can add an icon to it. So let's say we wanted to let people know that it's like a YouTube link so you can put like a little icon next to next to it uh, you can position the icon either before or after you can do icon spacing let's say you wanted it to be further apart you can drag that um, okay so another thing that I wanted to show you guys uh, is how to add elements from other blogs so like for example um, let's say let's actually open up another blog here so if we, this one was so we'll go to this one here and click edit with Elementor And then you can scroll down to this button that I made and if you just right click on this little editor button and click copy and then go back to your blog and just right click right here paste and it pastes that button right down there so you don't have to worry about remembering how or you don't have to if you like this button you don't have to like try to figure out how to cre recreate that you can just go to this blog post copy it and paste it and let's say you want to have the Facebook YouTube and Instagram for the church all you have to do is go to this blog copy the that element go back to your blog and paste it in and there you go you have that so yeah that's a a little bit on how you make a blog um, so just play around with it there's all kinds of other things that you can do you can add a you can add videos and um, unfortunately though they're mostly you can only add YouTube links you can't add Facebook links to this video adder because um, it's not supported uh, so if you wanted to add a video, you probably need to upload it to YouTube. 
and you can do that. Um, there's, you know, obviously image, button, we went over button, um, divider, spacer, if you wanted to put like a space between here and here, you could add a spacer and you can make it bigger, smaller, depending on what you need. Uh, what else is there? Um, there's an uh, image gallery, so you can put this in and you can uh, just, you know, add a whole bunch of images together to create some kind of a gallery then click insert gallery and so you can do that um, you, you just kind of play around with it and then you have a whole bunch and you have like three images displaying all at once down there in like a kind of like a gallery thing so that's kind of fun um, you can kind of change how it looks though to you can put borders around them you know you can do all kinds of things so just you know there's all kinds of different widgets that you can use and stuff like that um, if you wanted to create a link to a certain section you could drag this in and just to read the way that you put an ID you put an ID in so like test and then that anchors it and so how do you get to that Oh, look, I guess I published it. So go ahead and view page. And to get to that little link that we made, all you have to do is type in what we typed, which was test, or sorry, hashtag test. And it takes us to that little section that we put in there. So there you go. Um, that's in a nutshell how you do a blog post obviously there's a lot more features and stuff that you guys can play around with but this should get you guys going to where you can start posting some blogs and news posts and updates to the website uh, and whatnot so uh, thank you guys for watching and you have a great day